Ever since the James Webb Space Telescope has been deployed to explore space, we have been consistently receiving profound information about the universe, information that was previously just a matter of speculation. The telescope reveals to us the distant past millions of light years away from Earth, unraveling mysteries that were beyond our comprehension. However, what we are about to share with you will truly boggle your mind. In fact, the recent discoveries about the universe have shattered our fundamental understanding. The James Webb Telescope allows us to see billions of light years into the remote past, providing insights into phenomena we could only imagine before. The continuous revelations from the James Webb Telescope are reshaping our understanding of the universe. In a recently published paper, scientists unveiled that the latest images captured by the Webb Telescope have brought to light objects that existed merely 120 million years after the Big Bang. Even more intriguingly, the findings in the deep early universe have the potential to challenge the very foundations of the standard cosmological model. Astronomers express their surprise at this revelation, emphasizing that such unexpected details were not anticipated in the telescope's imagery. It reshapes our understanding, suggesting that the universe is indeed very old, though not infinitely so. A revelation that caught many off guard. Contrary to Einstein's belief in an infinitely aged universe without a starting point, recent discoveries indicate otherwise. This departure from conventional wisdom highlights the inherent surprises in our cosmic exploration. The confidence in our predictions is shaken as we grapple with the unexpected. Consider this. When the Webb Telescope extends its gaze into space, it can only observe up to a distance of about 46.5 billion light years. This distance defines the radius of our visible universe, known as the Hubble radius or Hubble sphere. The limitations in our observation underscore the vastness and intricacies of the cosmos that continue to elude our full comprehension. Incidentally, the James Webb Telescope has discovered galaxies that are the farthest away, and they also fall within the Hubble Sphere region. Notably, the most distant galaxy identified by the Webb Telescope, known as Maisie's Galaxy, emerged just 450 million years post the Big Bang and resides within the Hubble Sphere. It's crucial to recognize that our universe is in a state of expansion. As it continues to expand, the Hubble region undergoes a progressive enlargement, allowing objects beyond its initial boundaries to come into view. Now, delving into the fascinating aspect, it's not just that the universe is expanding, it's actually accelerating in its expansion. Beyond the outer limits of the Hubble sphere, the expansion occurs at a pace exceeding the speed of light, this acceleration introduces a captivating dynamic to the cosmic narrative. The critical point arises when observing extremely distant entities surpassing the Hubble boundary. While their light endeavors to reach us, the accelerated expansion creates a rapid stretching of the space between us and these celestial objects. Consequently, the emitted light from those distant stars and galaxies outpaces its journey towards us, effectively moving away faster than it can reach our observation point. This intricacy adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of the universe's expansive nature. This implies that the expansion of the Hubble sphere will eventually cease upon reaching the cosmic horizon limit known as the observable universe. Visualize the observable universe as an expansive, imaginary spherical shell stretching 93 billion light years wide around us. Within this boundary lies the maximum distance where we can observe galaxies and stars. The light emitted from entities inside this vast sphere has traveled for an extended period, enabling it to reach us. Anything positioned beyond this celestial sphere remains forever invisible to us. Even with the most advanced theoretical telescopes at our disposal, the limitation persists because the light originating from those distant realms has not yet reached our vantage point. This concept underscores the finite extent of our observational capabilities within the vast expanse of the cosmos. This prompts the intriguing question, just how expansive is the entire universe beyond the confines of our observable universe shell? Well, the answer remains elusive. Our estimates, guided by the mathematical formulations in some of our prevailing cosmological theories, offer competing perspectives on this matter. Despite our efforts, 
we currently lack sufficient data to assert any certainties, and the prospect of obtaining such conclusive information remains uncertain. The scale of the universe could potentially be infinite, leaving us with an ongoing mystery. On the other hand, certain studies have suggested that our complete universe might be at least 250 times larger than what we can currently observe. Some even propose mind-boggling estimates, envisioning our universe as being 10 circumflex, 10 circumflex, 10 circumflex, 122 times larger than the observable universe. Such figures represent an astronomically vast expanse with an extraordinary number of digits, emphasizing the magnitude of the cosmic unknowns that continue to captivate our curiosity. Yet, the even spread of matter across the universe and the consistent temperature distribution in the cosmic microwave background radiation propose the intriguing possibility that our universe might be boundless. Now here's a captivating aspect. When we peer deep into space, we're essentially peering into the past. Those galaxies located at the outer edges of the Hubble sphere, the most distant ones we observe, aren't contemporary galaxies. Instead, they're remnants from billions of years ago. Essentially, our gaze into space serves as a cosmic time machine, allowing us to witness the universe's bygone eras. In line with our standard cosmological model, around 14 billion years ago, the entirety of the observable universe, along with the unseen expanses beyond it, would supposedly have condensed into a minuscule boundless point known as the singularity. However, that scenario might not hold true. I mean, it would be accurate if the universe were finite, but indications suggest otherwise. It appears to be infinite. In such a scenario, the Big Bang wouldn't be a localized event. Rather, it would have unfolded ubiquitously. This implies that the genesis of the first galaxies wasn't confined to any specific region. They emerged throughout the entire expanse of the universe, extending even beyond the observable realms that lie beyond our sight. It appears that matter emerged universally at a specific moment in time, and the cosmic microwave background radiation, omnipresent in the universe, serves as the initial light of matter emanating from every corner of the cosmos. This implies that the singularity might not be the singular origin point for everything. Instead, it could be an infinite space where the inception of all entities occurred across the entire expanse about 13.8 billion years ago. Hold on. While what I've shared thus far offers a fitting explanation for the enigmatic qualities of our universe, recent findings from the Webb Telescope are throwing a curveball at our estimated understanding of the universe's age. Each deep field image captured by the James Webb Telescope unravels unexpected phenomena, compelling us to reconsider the established Big Bang model of a 13.8 billion year old universe. As we bid farewell to the year 2022, there was a prevailing belief that the most distant yet unverified galaxy was Sears 93316. However, upon closer examination, subsequent studies revealed that it was merely a nearby galaxy its appearance greatly influenced by dust clouds, causing a significant redshift. Nevertheless, in a recent turn of events, the James Webb Telescope has once again astounded us by identifying an ultra-high redshifted galaxy that challenges established theories. Scientists have unveiled the discovery of F200 DBZ045, now considered a candidate high redshift galaxy, boasting an estimated redshift of approximately Z equals 20.4. This places its existence around 168 million years after the Big Bang. If this discovery is validated, it could stand as one of the earliest and most distant galaxies ever observed, revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. Now, this galaxy remains one of the most distant candidates, requiring thorough examinations for confirmation. Should it indeed be validated, it would necessitate a re-evaluation of the standard model, leading to a more refined estimate of the universe's age. A few months back, the Webb Telescope brought to light the presence of early massive galaxies just a few million years after the Big Bang. Their existence poses a significant challenge to our current standard model of the universe. The rapid formation of these galaxies contradicts the norms set by our prevailing understanding. Achieving such swift development would practically demand nearly 100% efficiency in converting all the gas in the universe into stars, 
a task deemed incredibly challenging, or in scientific terms, bordering on the impossible. Our very own galaxy, the Milky Way, took an astonishing 13.7 billion years to fully form. However, revelations from the Webb telescope have unveiled galaxies resembling our Milky Way mere millions of years after the Big Bang. This breakthrough has the potential to revolutionize our comprehension of how the earliest galaxies in the universe came into existence. In another remarkable finding, the James Webb Telescope, through the efforts of the GA NIFS Research Group, has uncovered an extraordinary event in the early universe. This time, they've detected the merging of two black holes occurring 700 million years after the Big Bang. The incredible capabilities of the Webb Telescope particularly in full infrared, have allowed us to witness this early collision of black holes, marking a significant advancement in our exploration of cosmic phenomena. Researchers entertain the notion that the regular merging of black holes might serve as a pathway for the growth of black holes in the early universe. The collective findings suggest a paradigm shift, proposing that the universe might be far older than our earlier estimations, or potentially lacks a definitive starting point, implying an eternal existence. Observing our universe as seemingly infinite in size raises the likelihood that its age may also be boundless. The concept challenges the traditional view of the Big Bang, suggesting that what we perceive as this explosive event could be merely a distinctive phase in the ongoing evolution of an eternal causal set rather than a true commencement. This viewpoint adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of the universe's origins. Nevertheless, additional research is imperative, as the uncertainty lingers regarding whether the concept of an eternal universe without a beginning can harmonize with our existing scientific theories to adequately elucidate the intricate sequence of events during the Big Bang. This wraps up our discussion for today. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section regarding this ongoing cosmological quandary. Thank you.